Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another episode of the West Virginia Trail Riding series. We're picking up exactly where we left off in episode 3 here. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, you can find them all on the YouTube channel. In the previous video, we rode mostly on the Devil Ants trail system, and in this video, we're starting off on Buffalo Mountain. Enough talk though, hang on and enjoy the ride. Trail 56 here on Buffalo Mountain. This is a blue trail. Our goal is to get to Trail 96, 95, and 94, which are black trails.
This was an awesome climb and a wicked section of trail. This is exactly the kind of stuff we're out here looking for, we really enjoy doing. Now we're working our way onto Trail 94, and it looks like there's a lot of brush down here, and we're uh, about to run into a little bit of a roadblock. Back at camp, they let us know that they had some high winds and a lot of trees down right before we got here, so some of the trails were still blocked. Cut just to make a cut a wedge out of it. Okay, cut it from the bottom. Like the wedge out of the bottom. Like right here. Cut it and then this will drop down and hopefully get through it. Or? Oh yeah, if it drops down, hopefully it'll wedge itself there and then we can get around it. Okay, so we cut it up there. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. I don't know if we're gonna get through this sucker, but this is a test for the Milwaukee. Oh man. Is this a in it? Yeah. It's really good. This little six inch Milwaukee pruning saw has saved our asses countless times in the past on the trail. Oh, look it! Oh. The Kawasaki guy. Got the Tesla. There the you go. Saw. Whoa, it sounds like a Tesla. That's the right the chain needs a sharpening. Oh, I know. We'll get through it. It'll cut through it. It's still pretty, uh, that thing's a huge. 20 volt max, uh, to roll. Look at Bill. Comes in with his 12 inches. <laughs> Everyone else walks away. The saw is 12 inches, 12 inch bar length. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize he had that. Neither did I. Until then. Look at the smile yeah, on the girl's face, eh? 12 inches. As soon, a as, smile soon as they hear 12, yeah, inches, yeah, yeah, 12 inches, she's all smiles over there. She's happy with my four and a half, man. Yeah. <laughs> on yeah, a good I day. I thought you were metric. I mean, come on. Four and a half centimeters, yeah. yeah centimeters. Yeah. Everything sounds bigger. Yeah. It's like 400 millimeters. Yeah, 450. There you go. Yeah. I don't want to go in and cut saws or anything. Oh, oh damn it. Yeah, I <laughs> figured that's it. Can push it. Push it, push it down the hill. Turn, turn around. Turn it right here. <laughs> turn around? <laughs> we didn't come to West Virginia to turn around. No. All this way. Oh, we didn't come to turn around. Probably not. <laughs> Sometimes it's about RPM, not size. <laughs> it's talent. I just call it talent. Reciprocations per minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, like that lube we had this morning. I mean, that would probably low the friction factor of a lot of things, eh? <laughs> oh, she's filming. Ah, damn it. I'm like, my camera's off. Oh, Jeremy's is it. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Follow us on OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah. Help support the channel. Yeah. Yeah, help me get some lessons from, from Greg. You'll get to see our underside if you do OnlyFans. Yeah, right? yeah, you'll see a lot more of our undercarriage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. push it harder. Yeah, for sure. We won't pull out. <laughs> oh. You know, on the trail, like when it gets hard. Yeah. What are you guys thinking? Jeez. Oh, there's something white on the lens there. Whoa. Yeah. Yay. Success. Can you get over that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get the hard stuff out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Bill. Good job, buddy. Yeah, Bring in the saw. I'm glad I brought it. Figured we need it. Thanks, DeWalt. Yeah, DeWalt. Anti Kawasaki. DeWalt, we got right through there. Milwaukee tapped, tagged in DeWalt, DeWalt took care of the job. But uh, I mean, yeah, six inch Milwaukee versus a 12 inch DeWalt. If you don't know the difference about that, then just go ask your girlfriend. <laughs> just saying. This trail has not been gone through for a while.
Your spare tire's open. As most of you long-term viewers will know, as a crew we are quite prepared on these rides and the cordless saws made easy work of that tree. It's insane how cordless technology has evolved over the years and the abilities it brings you. Being able to pack so much punch in such a small package out on the trail is really awesome. Whether it's a cordless impact gun, a ratchet, or a chainsaw, they're all really handy to have out on the trail. We made it up Trail 94, which is a black trail without many issues, and now we're working our way up Trail 95, which is also another black trail. The sun is slowly starting to set now, and the cool thing is, since we're on the side of a mountain, depending on which side you're on, you'll get a better or a worse view of the sun. So on one side you'll be able to see the sunset, you'll be in full sun, and on the other side you're in full shade. Uh, it's really cool riding out here, there's a lot of really fun, fancy features of these trails that you just probably don't get at home if you don't live in the mountains. These trails have so much to offer, it really is tough going home sometimes when you compare your local trails to what they have here. There's a little bit of variance between the mapping software and the paper printed maps. The paper printed maps are updated on a regular basis, so they're usually pretty good. So once in a while we do have to stop and kind of get our bearings and figure out where we're heading. We're on Trail 57 now, which is another black trail. If you head over to the Hatfield McCoy Trails website, then they have downloadable printable versions of these maps in PDF format for free. They also have some other map files you can download. 
If you're planning a trip down here and you've never been before, then it's a great idea to print the maps beforehand and review them. That way you can plan your trip, figure out where you want to go, and if you're really fancy, you can even think about laminating a map so that you don't damage it. If you're going to download the GPS files, then make sure you upload them to your GPS device and make sure they work before you hit the trails. bit of a side note here, a technical note on filming. I understand most people prefer the out of cab view, the third person shot from outside the vehicle, the multiple angles doing climbs and trails. However, when you're trying to cover ground in these mid to high speed sections, it, it's not just, it's you can't do it. You can't get out of the vehicle every two minutes and make everyone stop so that you can get those shots. So that's why you'll see a lot of POV kind of first person shots here. And realistically, this should give you a good idea of what to expect when you come here, because this is the way you'll see it when you're in your machine. it in the previous episodes and you probably heard Ksenia and I just talking about it but that knocking noise you're hearing from the back of the machine is the sway bar shaking itself apart I think at this point I had a cracked or broken rear sway bar uh, bracket and uh, it was just like tearing itself off the frame so that's what you're hearing the sun was getting ready to set so we made our way back down trail 11 back to the road Colin and Greg decided to take the trails back to camp a few of us needed fuel so we hit the road and we were starving so we wanted to get back to Gilbert so we still had time to eat overall we got a great first day of riding in we are just fueling up we're taking the road home it was getting late Colin and Greg took the trails uh, the rest of us took the road corny a bunch of them that didn't need gas or down the road so it's been a good eventful day the first day has been pretty awesome uh, we're all fueled up, ready to head back to camp. Got about a 30 minute drive, and uh, then we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Yeah, I kind of want to eat something too. Yeah, that's probably already on. Pizza. Yeah, Giovanni's is good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 
As you heard me mention, we've got about a 30 minute road ride to get back to camp, just taking our time. And we're gonna grab some pizza on the way. If you're looking for a good bite to eat late at night, Giovanni's and Gilbert make some badass pizza. Uh, we've been there many times and it always satisfies. Another fantastic place to eat in Gilbert is the Mexican restaurant just down the street from Twin Hollow. It's really yummy and authentic Mexican food. We love it there. I've been there countless times and they've been around for quite a while. Aside from that, there is the McDonald's next to the Foodland. That's where you see us meet up every morning before the ride begins. Which one? Finishing our night off with some Giovanni's. Look at that nice makeup you got on. It's really natural. Yeah, greasy goodness. Stuffing our faces with that pizza and getting all filled up on calories at the end of a long day like this was just the right thing. Now that we're done stuffing our faces, we're gonna hit the trail back to Twin Hollow. Once we get back to camp, we're gonna have some cold ones. We're gonna discuss our day, talk about all the beautiful sights, the fun stuff we did, and plan our ride for tomorrow. Just in case you are staying at Twin Hollow, they don't like it when you take the driveway up and down. That's why they've got the trail. So unless your machine's broken or you're in a vehicle, make sure you take that trail up and down in and out of camp. Also, if you're coming back after dark, make sure to be respectful. All right, well, we all made it back safe. Um, back at camp now, gonna shower up and unload all the crap I gotta get out of the razor for the night and then we'll go at it again tomorrow. So um, yeah, all the machines held together, no issues on the trails, had a blast, weather was great. And um, looking forward to ripping it some more tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna ride Bear Wallow. We're all super stoked about that. We've been looking forward to it, it should be pretty intense. We hit some good trail today. Um, like you guys probably saw in the video. So if you enjoyed it, smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the other West Virginia riding content as well as some of our previous uploads from other trail systems and other adventures we've had along the way. And uh, if you want some cool Team AJP swag, then check that out on the Shopify store. Ride safe out there. We'll see you in the next video.